I'm Jason Howes. I'm the fabrication section supervisor. Having a well-trained garden uh, often translates into well-repaired uh, aircraft components. Our business is aircraft maintenance, and typically it's on um, flight controls or structural components, and that can have a cascading effect, uh, whether it's monetary or loss of life. So we take uh, tra our training very seriously. We consider it a no-fail mission. Today's training looks a lot different than legacy training. Um, we've been able to incorporate additive manufacturing into our training uh, process. Um, it's maintenance cycles and aircraft repairs don't always line up with uh, drill status guardsman schedules. So being able to put a uh, modeled aircraft part, 3D printed aircraft part into their hands, gives them the confidence level that they need and proficiency training that they're looking for. One of the criteria we have when we consider modeling uh, an aircraft part is its availability um, to the guardsmen for repair. We can't just break an aircraft to provide training and if the maintenance cycle doesn't dictate uh, that that's available for them to train on, we'll, we'll consider that as a, an opportunity to model. Um, one, of the, one of the models that we created was the outboard aileron tab. It's a flight control and general um, machining practices are used when repairing that. I'm uh, Tech Sergeant Christopher Look, and I'm a machinist here at the uh, 101st. For the aileron tab, we created a plastic model. The real one's aluminum. And it's like, well, we could create a training aid out of aluminum, but the manufacturing time for the training aid would be quite intensive and it'd be very expensive out of aluminum. Plastic is much easier and cheaper. We can create a training aid, have it print overnight, have a new one the next morning. And we just create a pattern that has thick enough walls so you can actually machine the plastic away and install a real bushing. So the integration of additive manufacturing in our training process has been a game changer in terms of providing a more comprehensive training for our traditional guardsmen. It, it makes them more proficient and it makes them more confident and it's hard to put a value on that.